Hey guys, welcome to my updated nursery tour video. Um, if you guys haven't seen my first one, I'll link it in the cards and down below. But basically I wanted to share with you some new decor pieces that I have for um, her little nursery area and uh, kind of how I'm organizing it now that she's a bit older and her clothes are bigger, etc. So as you guys know, we live in a tiny condo, so her nursery is actually a co-sleeping um, situation here. We are moving in January so she will have her own space in the new condo so I will do an updated nursery tour or a new nursery tour at that time. So this is the kind of layout um, while she's awake and not using her crib. So I did place um, some business cards around so I wouldn't forget um, the names of the shops for some of these items. So I will start over here. We have the Emma banner and this is uh, two different products. The Emma banner is from Tenor Love cardstock and it is a glitter cardstock um, banner. The tassel banner is from Tassel Love and the uh, colors are navy, light pink, pink and silver. Uh, the inspiration for the color scheme actually came from her um, crib sheet. So we have the Baby Leto, I think it's called Star Print. I think that's what it's called. I'll link everything down below. And um, the pink and navy, I really like the color combo of that. And a lot of her clothes actually are pink and navy, which I just love. So I kind of went with that color scheme in her little nursery area. So I have here a blanket this is a minky blanket by uh, minky baby gifts and it is monogrammed uh, with her name this is the rose minky with uh, the quarter foil in navy which i think is really 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 pretty and this size fits exactly her mini crib so the crib that she has is the baby leto mini crib in gray which i will also link down below but i want to show you the blanket so it fits perfectly widthwise and length, it goes all the way up um, pretty much closer to the top here. So it's the perfect size for the mini crib, and that's their medium size blanket. And I also have her change pad on here. So this is where I will change her when obviously she's awake and not sleeping. Um, so it just adds a little bit more height so my back isn't dying. Um, and adds protection from the actual mattress when I am changing her. And I have her little sleep lovey here, and um, she will look at that, play with that while I change her diaper. And I will just store her sleep suit on the side when she is not using it. So this is the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit, and I will be doing a review on this um, when I do her bedtime routine video, which will be coming up very, very soon. Okay, so I have this little basket that I keep under the, um, dash leave it, under the um, coffee table in a living room. Basically have all of her swaddle blankets, her towels, the boba wrap, and some of her toys, as well as um, crib sheets and um, changing pad covers as well. So this um, keeps all the bulky items out of her area because I don't have room for that there. So right next to the crib, I have the side table and I have the Emma Blocks by uh, Sweet, Sweet Sage Studio. I will link all of the shops down below along with coupon codes, discount codes uh, for you guys. So this one says Emma and I also have the, uh, the age counter one, so where it says like weeks, months, uh, days, grade, years. I can't remember, um, but I have shown you guys that on uh, Instagram. If you don't follow me, go ahead and check that out. I use the blocks for her weekly uh, photos. And I have this floral arrangement, which I've had forever, but I decided to move it into this nursery area because it ties in with the pink theme. And I got that from Marshalls. The little frame here, I believe I got that at Marshalls or the dollar store. I cannot remember, but I have her... Um, ultrasound from 20 weeks and three days uh, picture in there and I have the I love you forever book and um, the secrets of the baby whisper book which I constantly refer to on the top there 
and I have my charger here on the side that I charge my phone at night. So the first drawer is completely changed from the last time you guys saw it. It is now completely baby stuff. Um, before the top was my drawer and then the bottom was hers, but now she's taken over the whole uh, side. There's a lot of stuff when it comes to having a baby. So this is all diapering, first aid, etc. So when I open up a brand new pack of diapers, it actually fits the two rows. And I wanted to show you guys what that looks like um, when it's completely full. I normally change out the diapers in the different patterns and have it all filled up with different patterns, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when they're like normal diapers just out of the package, what it looks like. And it'll fit two rows on the side. This is an Ikea um, side table. And these are Ikea inserts as well, which I will link everything down below for you guys. So on the side, I have all of the diapering essentials along with hand sanitizer. Everything pretty much is from Honest Company, baby powder, healing balm, diaper rash cream, a backup diaper rash cream, lotion, and I always put her clean pacifiers in this Ziploc container, and I just keep them here so when one falls on the floor or um, gets dirty, I will um, put it on the drying rack, the boom drying rack, face down, waiting for it to be sanitized again, and then I'll keep the clean ones in here. I have grape water, which I've never used. Um, I have her vitamin D drops, which reminds me I have to get those today. And I have her, um, what's this called? Thermometer. And all of that on the side. In the back, I have my glasses, which I use when like tech starts hurting my eyes. And then I have uh, the Cutie Academy teething necklace, amber teething necklace, which doesn't fit her yet. Uh, it's a little big, so I have to wait before I start using that. I need to buy a smaller one. And in the front here, I have um, an eye mask if I decide to take a nap during the day. And in this pouch, this is um, a pouch from the Skip Hop packet diaper bag that I got. If you guys want to see what's in my hospital bag, slash diaper bag review of this um, bag specifically. I'll link it for you guys. And basically in here I put all of her grooming and medicine and um, kind of like essentials that way in here. And when I travel, like if I go to my parents or whatnot, I will take this with me. I also have a thermometer in here, um, like, oh, there it is right there on the top corner, um, like a travel one for the pack so that's super helpful I have the wipes Kleenexes um, breast pads as well in this drawer so that's the top drawer the bottom drawer has all of uh, her bibs so these are bandana bibs from eat sleep drool and bugaloo baby designs and then I have her nine month onesies these are her like more fancy onesies that she is yet to grow into and then she has her basic onesies. She's still in six month size, but not for too much longer. And these go under her sleep suits. So these are just basic plain white um, or, you know, basic. They don't have any buttons or anything on them. So um, usually this is like pretty full, but uh, I have to do some laundry for that. Next to the side table is her Munchkin sound machine. I actually just got this last week and I love it. Um, previously I was using a Bluetooth speaker and an app which I will also link down below because it was super helpful but I found that it was really annoying because I would get a phone call or someone would text me and I'd want to use my phone or watch a YouTube video and I couldn't because I was um, sending the sound to the speaker so I invested in one of these guys it was actually pretty affordable it was like 26 or 27 dollars and um, it has all of the sound that I want and it has a projector too which is pretty cool and um, it's also voice activated which if she cries it'll just like turn on but I usually keep it on um, all the time throughout her whole nap or at night so it's been super helpful and next to it obviously is the crib so her whole wardrobe actually fits under the crib and um, that's why I have to keep it pretty minimalist 
And then I have her diapers, her wipes, headbands, and bows, um, accessories, and books. So I'll go through all of that for you guys. So um, on the right hand side, these two um, boxes are upcycled Honest Company essential boxes that I've just wrapped in some pretty basic uh, fabric that I got from Michaels. So I have all of her books on the right hand side. I have another one of the Ikea um, squares with all of her headbands and most of the headbands that I have are from Callie and Me Boutique, which I'll also link down below. I um, showcased her shop along with a discount code in my summer spring haul and um, yeah go check out that video if you haven't. All of her diapers and wipes are here. That was um, a freebie given to me. I have yet to use them. Um, but, but the diapers are going to be replenished soon. I only have three packs left. So this will be much fuller with diapers very soon. On this side, I have this box which has all of her shoes and accessories like hats. So I have also her sunshades and flip-flops and ballet flats and slippers and her cute sun hat. And then this is where pretty much her whole wardrobe is with the exception of two pieces which I have hanging in my closet. So, um, I will show you guys here. So I zip it open. Okay, so I have it all unzipped now. And basically at the front I have all of her shirts um, and dresses. So she has a couple, these are mostly six month size still as she still fits in them. Um, she's only outgrown the six month sleepers and um, some of the six month onesies and she's five and a half months almost uh, right now. So she's got two dresses in six month size. That's a six month shirt, six month shirt, and then uh, two nine month shirts. So her sleepers are all on the side. These are nine month sizes, which she actually fits in because they are the Carter's um, style with the zipper. I find the Carter's cotton zippered one uh, sleepers to be small, to be on the small end. Um, so they fit her now. The cotton snap ones are kind of like medium size. She still kind of fits in the six month size, um, but probably in the next week or so she will outgrow them. The uh, terry cloth snap uh, sleepers are, run really large. She still has lots of room to grow in the six month size for that. So those are her PJs on the side, which she doesn't sleep in. She just like hangs out around the house in them. If we have nowhere to go, it's a lazy day, etc. So in the center here, I have all of her sweaters, hoodies. Um, this is like a sweater onesie type thing when it was really cold. These are both, that's in six month size and this is six to 12 month size. Then I have two um, cardigans. These are in six month size and then a six month um, zipper sweater they all still fit her and um, anytime she outgrows something I will put it into storage at my parents place um, so if you're in a small condo I highly recommend constantly going through what you have so one you're using everything um, that she can fit in now and you're not wasting any clothes by saying oh yeah that will fit her later and then you never end up wearing it and whatnot. I've accidentally done that with some of her newborn stuff. She never ended up wearing it because I thought it was too big etc. Anyways yeah just constantly go through the clothes whenever it seems a little small as soon as it comes out of the wash just put it in storage. In this bin here it looks kind of crowded. Um, her socks and like legging um, tights type of thing are on the front here and then I have her pants which are from here to here in six months and then her nine month uh, pants and shorts jeans pants jeggings etc over here so if I want to get her dressed uh, if we're going out she'll be in like a basic onesie and then like a shirt pants and a sweater or um, just the dress and some leggings and a sweater etc so it makes it really easy to dress her when everything is together in one spot 
and that is pretty much the nursery tour it's very small so it's a very quick one i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i'm going to show you um how i set up her i'm just going to shut that in there for a second how i set up her um kind of area when she's sleeping and i also have her activity gym which sometimes it will be on the bed and I'll hang out with her on the bed it's softer so when she does tummy time she's not so angry with me putting her on the on her tummy because she still doesn't like it no matter what time in her routine I do it so I'll um, put it on the bed or I'll put it right here on the floor um, right by her crib so when she is sleeping I will take this and either put it down here um, so it's still out of the way but pretty close or I'll just put it on the bed like this and then um, she'll have her nap so I'll remove her lovey and I will take her sleep suit and I'll put her in like that and Emmy is actually ready for a nap so that's pretty much what it'll look like when she's sleeping and she does love looking at the banner in the different reflective um, sizes or sorry colors and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching I will be posting like I said her sleep routine very very soon so subscribe if you haven't already and I will have a new nursery tour in July like I mentioned before uh, when we move into a bigger space so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Much love. Bye.